Hi guys, it's Lizzie. So today I decided to do my what I got for Christmas for you. I do have a clip that I will insert uh, in just a moment of all the stuff that I kind of got before I left to come home. But this is everything that I got for my family. I went to the city to hang out with Christina. Uh, you guys all met her in my StreamCon vlog. And she's also a fellow YouTuber. I will link her channel down below. But uh, she and I were hanging out in the city and we went to Strand. And so she and I decided to pick a book and the other was buying it for us. And then I also ended up picking up three other books while I was there. I picked up four, but one was for a Secret Santa that I sent already. So um, the book that Christina got for me was Ilsa, Ilsa, I'm not really sure how you say it. And Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is the third um, in the companion series from Stephanie Perkins. I reread Anna and the French Kiss this past month, and I recently read Lola and the Boy Next Door, so I'm really excited to get to the third one, um, and probably this will be one of the first books I read in January. Then the three books that I picked up for myself were ones that I have been dying to read forever, and I finally just picked up copies of them. So the first one is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I believe this is all about time travel, but I'm not positive. Um, beautiful cover. I think it's absolutely stunning. And I did get the paperback edition of all of these books except for the last one. So I will be very excited to pick this up in the near future because I've heard nothing but great things about that. Then I picked up Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. She starts writing letters to dead people in a way of coping with her sister's death, I believe. So absolutely love the premise behind this as just like a writer idea. Um, I don't know a ton about this book. Again, I kind of just want to jump into these and not really know what's going to go on. So excited to pick this up. And then the last book that I picked up for myself was Alive by Scott Sigler. And I believe this is about somebody who gets buried alive basically and has no remembering why it happened. So excited to pick this up. And then the last gift of school stuff that I have to show you is from Amanda, who you guys met in my StreamCon vlog. She's one of my best friends, and she told me that there's another part of my gift that hasn't shown up yet, and that's the sentimental part. But the only thing I have to show right now is she got me the Dragon Egg Bath Bomb from Lush, so I'm definitely going to use this while I'm home. It smells so good, but this is actually one of my favorite bath bombs, and she didn't even know that, so... I'm mad impressed of her picking abilities um, and she said the other part of the gift is coming so I'm excited to see what she gets me. So some of the stocking stuff that I got, I got some Twix, a bag of peanut butter M&M's, I got two rubber spatulas, a little pink one and the one that says hashtag yum which is totally me. I got a total face brush. My sister got me a bunch of the R&B hair uh, sample sizes because I go through this very in very small amounts. So buying like a huge one doesn't make a lot of sense, um, especially when it costs so much. So these are going to be great. She got me two face masks, uh, the charcoal and black sugar mud mask, which I'm currently using. And then my favorite avocado and oatmeal one, so I can kind of use these while I'm home. She got me some stamps because I like to send snail mail. I got two pairs of really cute socks. They're these ones that have coffee and donuts on them and turquoise and in tan. And I'm going to wear those so much. I got this little Chick-fil-A cow. It's actually a gift card holder, but it came with a Chick-fil-A calendar. So each month has a different picture and then it, you get a free little thing with it. Oh, and last thing, I got a Yog Nog um, that far, not that far, a couple, this thing, which is just like the Yog Nog soap that I love, but it's in a bath form. Then for missing a package from one of them, but um, my big gift was money to finish getting this, which is an iPad Air 2, um, and this is my new little baby. 
and this is so that I can also take notes and stuff during class. So I got the iPad and then for my brothers, they gave me a case that has a stand so you can prop it up. And then Catherine's gift was a Bluetooth keyboard so that I can take notes on it. From my grandmother, she gave me this beautiful, beautiful jewelry box that was my great, great grandmother's and the money towards the iPad. From the woman that I stayed with in London, she sent a, well, she sent me this beautiful, and it's going to come off very dark, but it's a dark green, uh, like, rubber feeling, so you can basically, like, wipe it off, um, apron, and it has little, like, berries on it, and it's from Harrods, so that was really thoughtful, because I will definitely get a lot of use out of that, and then my mom got me money towards the iPad. She got me a gigantic bag of M&M's and these are also the peanut butter ones so I think I have like two and a half pounds of peanut butter M&M's and I'm okay with that because they're delicious. And then last but not least the only like book that I got, I said that like it's not a book, it's an actual book. The only like booktube gift that I got was this book Need by Joelle Charbonneau? Charbonneau? She wrote the testing series and this is her new book and my mom actually got it autographed for me. And it says, Elizabeth, what do you need? And signed. And it's, I believe, about this girl who um, lives in this world where basically there's this machine or something that can give you anything that you need, you just have to ask. And she wants to give her sister a new kidney, I believe, is what it is. Or, sorry, her brother. But she gets the kidney and then she figures out what she actually has to pay for it. I'm not really sure. But I'm super excited to get into this. Um, but right now, if we're being real, I've been spending a lot of time on this. So, I will probably be reading a lot of ebooks in the near future. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to let me know down in the comments what you got or if you did a what I got for Christmas video, make sure to tweet it at me right here. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button that I actually is going to be over there filming on a different camera. If you click the subscribe button that's right here, you'll get five videos a week, one Monday through Friday. And then I will talk to you in my next video.